Starting is the hardest part. Just say, hey guys, we screwed up. <laughs> yeah, right. Get their attention. <laughs> I have to start this video off by uh, making an apology. I thought that the Climb Cryos Pro and the Climb Cryos Carbon was exactly the same, all except for the kind of uh, air vent here. I thought that they just changed a few things. And so we were selling the Climb Cryos Pro mount to fit the Climb Cryos Carbon. Turns out there's like a half a millimeter to a millimeter's difference in some areas and that makes a significant difference when it comes to the mounting uh, of these mounts and, and, and whether or not it sticks. We had a couple of these fall off. If you've bought a mount for the Climb Cryos Pro thinking it was going to fit the Climb Cryos Carbon, I apologize. And if you need a mount, just like hit us up on Instagram and we'll get you a new one. You would think that, you know, Climb would save a little money by making, you know, the, the shells of these things the exact same, but I guess not. This is our mistake and we'll make amends or we'll make it right uh, if you have bought the wrong uh, mount. That being said, now we have a mount for the Climb Cryos Carbon and uh, it fits, it works great, uh, like all the rest of them. The mounts are made specifically for the individual helmets, and in this case, uh, we have tested this to make sure it does actually fit. Aside from the mounting to the specific helmet, we also have measured the distance from the uh, mounting point to where the forks are so that you can get a tip back angle, uh, so that way you can get a parallel uh, view of the horizon uh, when you're standing up on the bike. So if you're riding aggressively, what you want is for the camera to be parallel with top of the eye port because that's where your eyes are looking. So you want it to be parallel with your point of view. And with this, you can get a little bit of the, you know, the handlebars of the bike, the front fender, but mostly it's just like the trail. So you can get that point of view rather than having it look down uh, at the ground or something you get like 10 feet of the trail. That's one of the things that we've done with these mounts just to make them very specific to the helmet. Uh, and if you're riding, like obviously this is an ADV helmet, uh, but if you're riding sitting down, you're probably gonna be a bit more like that. So you can just tilt the camera forward. And one of the things that we've done is we've designed these mounts with these little tick marks in the side here. So it's a visual reference, you can set it up. So that way when you figure out what camera angle you want to run, you can just use these as a visual reference. So that way you don't have to worry about setting your camera angle every single time. Some of the other things that we've done is uh, we've incorporated a reverse screw direction. So the camera or the screw goes through from left to right or from right to left, depending on what direction you're looking at it. And the reason is because the battery door on these newer GoPro Hero 8, 9, and 10 all have the side battery door, uh, which is hard to open when the screw is going through the other way because you have to push down on this little tab to get it to open. Uh, so the screw really kind of gets in the way. So one of the things I want to touch on real quick is the media mod that comes with all obviously all of the newer GoPros. Uh, and we incorporate or, or we design these mounts to make it so that you can fit the uh, the GoPro Hero 9 and 10 because they're the same form factor uh, with the media mod in there. Um, so it gives you plenty of space to get that tilt back angle. Obviously they switched the, the battery dot side door, um, but you can't get the GoPro out but with the media mod on. So if you were trying to change out batteries with the media mod on, you'd have to take the entire camera off anyways. So the fact that the side door is reversed on these doesn't really make any difference because in order to change batteries on the fly, you'd have to take the whole thing off with the GoPro media mod on there. So I think that the reverse battery door still makes a lot of sense, even with the media mod, even though it's just a little bit kind of tighter to get in there. Uh, you can see that they've made it on the opposite side with the, the intention of having the screw on the opposite side with this kind of cutout here. And with our reverse screw direction, we can't take advantage of that. Uh, but I think for most people who aren't running the media mod, this is still just a far and away better situation to have the reverse screw direction. So one of the cool kind of side effects of these being specifically custom designed for the individual helmets is that one of the things we do is we keep all of the air vents clear. 
Uh, you may have noticed now with some of the mounts that you can buy on like Amazon that are chin mounts, uh, they kind of mask over the front. They're just like clamped on there. Uh, and what they do is they cover up all of the vents. So especially with ADV helmets where the vents are specific and sometimes they have little uh, switches here where you can open and close the vents. You want to be able to keep those clear and accessible, uh, which I think our mounts really do a good job of keeping those vents clear so that way you get the maximum amount of airflow and they're accessible. Now, the last thing I want to touch on about these mounts is that they are mounted with 3M tape. The 3M tape is waterproof. It's extremely strong. I don't think you have to worry about it falling off, especially if the mount is mounted up correctly. But you can wash these helmets uh, with the mounts on there. You don't have to worry about them falling off. These 3M tape that we use is the same stuff that GoPro uses and obviously those don't have any problems and we probably have two to three times as much mounting surface on our mounts than those little GoPro um, sticky mounts have. So we use a lot and I feel like really confident that these are going to stick on just fine. Oh my hand. So just real quick I want to touch on the specific benefits of chin mounting specifically uh, and the reasons kind of why we started making these mounts. Um, obviously when the camera is mounted in the lowest possible position you get the best kind of perspective on the terrain that you're riding over. Uh, everybody's seen the camera uh, footage of like the camera mounted on top of the helmet looking down on everything and it just feels like the terrain is really flat um, and it doesn't really kind of represent what you felt like you rode over. Whereas if you move it down that eight to 12 inches, you really get a deeper kind of perspective on the terrain and it makes the terrain just look more realistic as what you were experiencing from that per first person perspective. The cool thing about chin mounting, and this isn't specific to our mounts, but it is a nice feature uh, is that it is right in front of your mouth. And if you're not running a external mic um, for your GoPro or other action camera, your audio reception will pick up a lot better, especially if you're running like the media mod and you're setting the voice preference pickup to the back of the external mic. Uh, it's going to pick up your voice really well because it's just so much closer rather than it being up here where it's just further away and the sound has to travel further and there's more wind noise and things like that. I think lastly, the, the benefits of chin mounting is the protection that you get. Uh, if you're riding through a lot of brush and trees and things like that and you have a camera that's mounted to the top of your helmet, it's likely to get knocked off um, or you know, kind of like yank your head or something like that depending on how well your mount is secured. But that can be kind of problematic. You might lose your GoPro, uh, you might crack your GoPro. And if it's mounted here on the chin, like you can see it, you know it's still there. Um, and it's just kind of tucked away out of the way where it's not gonna get snagged and ripped off. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you is just what you're gonna get when you buy one of our mounts. Uh, so you're gonna get a mount, uh, and you can see this one is for the Bell uh, Moto 9MX uh, and ADV helmet. Actually, those two were the same. So at least Bell was like, hey, let's make like two helmets with the same shell. So maybe Climb should take a note from them on that. I'm not angry. You're gonna get a mount. You're gonna get a couple of our dope stickers. You're gonna get uh, an alcohol prep pad and that's to clean the helmet before you stick the mount on just to make sure it's clean. Uh, if it's not clean, uh, who knows, might not stick if it's all dusty. And you're gonna get a screw, which we include in the package. I do wanna touch on uh, mounting these real quick and having mounted these links like a thousand times, I feel like I, I've learned a couple of tricks and that are just kind of useful to pass on. They can get a little weird since you are mounting them from both sides. You wanna make sure that you get it in there and mount it straight the first time. And the best way to do that is to set it up to the helmet and make sure you understand where these mounts are supposed to go when you get them on the helmet. And then what I like to do once you understand where it's supposed to go is you grab the wings and pull back on them. And you don't wanna mount it in too far. The reason being, because if you get it in too far, obviously it's a taper, right? So if you get it too tight on these this front part, it's not gonna mount towards the back. It's not gonna stick down all the way. So you wanna make sure you get it in far enough, but not so far that uh, it makes it so that it doesn't stick on the back end of the wings. So you pull the wings back, you mount it in as far as you know it's supposed to go, and then you release it and then press it down all the way around. There'll be like 10 seconds afterwards where you can kind of like maneuver it around and kind of get it set right. Uh, but after that, it should just like stick and, and be stuck really well. And then just press down on the mounting wings it should stick, it should be fine after that. Just make sure you clean the surfaces really well. And 
yeah, the thing should be fine after that. All right, so that really does sum up all of the thoughts that I have. I know I keep coming back around to this. If you're interested in buying one of these mounts, check them out. The, the link in the description below will take you to our shop. I will also include a link to our Instagram channel and all of like the point of view footage that we take is filmed using these mounts so you can kind of get a feel for what that looks like. Uh, we do have like 50 mounts on our store so far, so there is a good chance that we have a mount for your helmet if you don't have the Climb Cryos Carbon. If you have any questions, drop them in the uh, comment section below and we'll get back to you uh, as soon as we can. Um, and if we don't have your helmet by chance, shoot us a message on like Instagram or put them in the comment section below or uh, email us directly and we will put that on our list to make sure that we get it done. Yeah. Really appreciate it if you uh, buy one of our mounts and check them out. Thanks.